I am Stephanie Lask. Um, I am currently at the Storyteller on Souls Point Road. I am a wordsmith. Melting the metals of syllables, some old miracles in the form of poetry, inventing different methods of venting with my rhythmic systematic way of thinking. I've been doing spoken word poetry for almost five years now. October will make five years. I catch myself sinking into the paper, trapped between the college rule guidelines my mind doesn't seem to follow. I had always been writing ever since I was in elementary school. I just never got, you know, really serious about it. Scrabbing my heartbeats into existence, making the page speak with persistence, a facilitator of words, sharpening my weapon skills with circumstance and influence as my steel, only seeking perfection for my craft. What really got me into it was um, I went to an open mic. I didn't even know that open mics in existed in this area. Doing what you love don't mean a damn thing if you ain't really into it, and I'm really, really into this. I was like, we're coming back next week and we're gonna say something, and that's, that's what it is. So we went back and that was the first time I ever read my stuff out loud. Knee deep in the quicksand of iambic pentameter, submerging myself in the parameters of spoken word poetry, marching to my own cadence. From then on, like, I wanted to go every week. So um, it became a habit, you know, it's habit forming. Dancing through sentences, spewing lava phrases, igniting flames to construct a couple of stanzas. What I'm really trying to say is, I'm not your usual or what you're usually used to. I met Marco, who I had already seen him at shows. He is like one of the many spoken word legends in this area. Um, and he had asked me um, if I would be down to perform at a show called Last Tuesday, so he was putting together. I strive to be an ordinary at all costs, different from the norm, someone that is still accepted regardless of all flaws. I want to be known like the saxophone solos and Sade's love songs. But I always say that Marco is like my mentor because like if it wasn't for him, I would have probably never started memorizing my poetry. Is it a crime that I want to be heard like four-part harmonizing barbershop quartets, heard loud and clear like Kendrick's verse on control and when Aretha demanded respect. I literally wrote so much poetry. <laughs> like, and it ranged from hating work to, you know, being out and dudes are hollering at you to hip hop to love, you know, just, I was just so engulfed in it. I want to be respected, maybe more like recognized because if you have ever lived a life of rejection, the prize that you receive at the end of the tunnel is so sweet to accept in. I just started making sure I was at pretty much every open mic that was in the area. So I eventually met um, Godchild who is another legend in this area for spoken word. Even on the bad days when I can't create and I throw my words on the ground as trash, I come back, push them all together so that everything gets swept in, no words left behind. I just wanna keep investing these pieces into my notebook's bank account, let them collect interest and save them for the rainy days of my life's ins and outs with. So yeah, so from there, I was just introduced to everybody that was on the scene that did poetry as well and a lot of them I'm still calling them like friend to this day. Just a few lines with just a few rhymes. I'm working my hands and my brain into oblivion. I'm now a part of the crew that puts on the show for Last Tuesdays. Um, I'm also a part of a spoken word acoustic group called Parks and Recs. Pen strokes equivalent to the line graft on a heart monitor. I'm a written photographer capturing the moments of me most and recording them to my mental Rolodex in hopes I can reach someone going through the exact same stress so at times it can be stressful because it's like a part-time job but it is so rewarding in the end even if my words don't make sense and the weight of the world falls on my shoulders I hope these poems can be somebody's strength I will war for these words and be a literary soldier I spit these words not only for myself but for anyone who ever needs a good word to heal themselves back to health so I'm hoping I can be like Marco and Godchild and you know be a staple for this area for spoken word Hopefully, one of these days. <laughs> and for anyone who has ever had welled up tear ducts and bottled up emotions but too afraid to spew, if you have ever gone through it, a poet will fight through it for you times two and write this pain so that you don't have to. I'm a wordsmith, y'all. I do this for me and you. But mainly the love I have for my pen and my pad, I just thought I'd remind you. Peace. <laughs>